on the internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are continuing a revamp for 2018, examining the best guitars in a certain price range. Today we're looking at the $1,000 to $2,000 price range. This is a very competitive price range. And I'll be honest with you guys to kind of illustrate how we're doing that. Um, we're primarily looking at guitars that we carry. and. When I look at these and, and come up with these lists, the criteria that I have is rather easy. Um, it is, would I buy this? Uh, do I find it compelling enough to take it home? And if these are guitars that I uh, like enough that I would own, or maybe in some cases do own, then I think it's something that you should know about. Um, there is a bit of criteria on that. I try to avoid anything that's a limited edition, um, although those are cool guitars. If it's a limited run that, um, isn't maybe widely available, then it doesn't do a lot of good to tell you that this is something in this price range that you should go try, because you probably can't. Um, so with a few exceptions, um, unless we're talking about a whole series, I don't do uh, limited edition guitars in this. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much about it. These, this does reflect mostly guitars that we carry, um, and that's for a few reasons. One, we carry it because we find it to be a compelling product, and two, it's what we have access to. So in no way should you take this video as um, an opinion that your guitar that you bought that's not on this list uh, sucks or anything like that. The, you know, there's great guitars out there. If you're watching this after the fact and you're looking for a vindication to prevent buyer's remorse, I can't help you there. Uh, but you probably got a great guitar, and if you didn't, uh, you can sell and buy a different guitar. So there you go. That's, that's my uh, two cents worth of advice for this free video that you are not paying for on YouTube. All right. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and go through the list. We're starting just above $1,000 with the guitar that I have in my lap. And this is, disclaimer, a guitar that I own. This is a Cordoba C10. Uh, this happens to be the spruce top version. Uh, there's a cedar top version as well. Uh, that's the model I personally own. And they are both great guitars from Cordoba. The reason that I like them in this price range is because they represent a huge value in a solid wood classical guitar um, that is impeccable, impeccably well made. So the C10 is part of the Luthier series, which we've covered before. You can always uh, spot them by this beautiful rosette that they have. And they feature all solid wood construction handcrafted in China. And they come with a case. It is uh, kind of like a polyfoam zipper case. So kind of these new combination Almost a gig bag, but not quite, and not as rigid as an actual like five ply or wood hard shell case. Uh, but they're great guitars. They are fan brace classical guitars featuring spruce or cedar top. This one's spruce um, and East Indian rosewood back and sides. It is typical classical construction, so it is not like a, mm, a hybrid guitar or anything that's meant to to you know, bridge gaps there. It is a full two inch nut. It is a flat fingerboard. It is a classical neck. The nice thing that Cordoba does on their guitars is it does have a truss rod in there in order to change the neck relief on there, which is good for initial setup and good for the life of the guitar. Uh, overall, these have fantastic uh, brilliance that you would expect from Rosewood along with a strong bass. If you opt for the cedar top, you'll have basically a uh, greater response with a light touch and more overall warmth out of the guitar from the get-go. The spruce top is going to yield you a bit more volume and a bit brighter um, and sharper articulation on the high end uh, with good projection. So that's the, the C10. Uh, great guitar, comes in under $1,100, uh, case and all. It's fantastic value. So let's go ahead and put it through its paces and you can hear what it sounds like.
All right, next on our list, just around $1,200, plus change is this from Journey Instruments. This is the OF660M. Uh, this is a matte carbon fiber uh, travel guitar. If you are not familiar with uh, Journey Instruments, they have some cool and compelling product specifically for people on a journey, those who are traveling. Now these carbon fiber guitars are darn near indestructible. And when you take off the neck, like I am, I'm screwing the back here, I'm pushing this button. You didn't break the guitar, it's designed to do that. So the idea behind these is they have this wedge-shaped body with a cutaway, with uh, this offset sound hole, and they have a great sound and timber to them, but the neck is detachable. It comes, in a, uh, comes with a gig bag that fits in an overhead compartment, and that's why it's called the overhead guitar. It snaps right back in place. And you tighten down this bolt on the back just to keep it in place uh, after you uh, click the button. Uh, nifty little thing actually, by turning the bolt you can kind of adjust the neck angle to your liking um, and it comes back in pretty close to tune. Um, with the carbon fiber construction, like I said, this, in addition to being able to go wherever and detach, is also extremely rugged. Uh, so I like it. It's got a great uh, kind of a, a, a darker earthy tone despite the fact that there's no wood in it whatsoever um, But it's really a fantastic travel guitar And so that's why I'm including it on this list and why I would own it and why you should consider it check it out Okay, so with this one, I'm breaking my rule just a little bit because the one that I'm holding actually is unlimited edition guitar. This is from Yamaha, it's part of the A series, and this is the AC4K2. It's a limited edition guitar for the holidays that features all solid Koa wood construction. So why am I breaking my rule to show you this? Well, I'm breaking my rule because I wanna show you this really cool guitar that's amazing that it's all solid Koa for this price at about 1500 bucks. But I also wanna make sure that we illustrate the, the fact that the A series as a whole is a fantastic line and the upper end of those that are made in Japan and come with great pickup system, all solid wood construction, hard shell case, ARE, tour faction process, all of that stuff. These are guitars that if you are shopping in the thousand to $2,000 range, you should have on your radar. You should go in and try to play one. If you don't have a local music shop that stocks one, buy it from us. If you don't like it, you can always ship it back. We have a 15 day return policy, but they are very, very good guitars for the money. Uh, they're very, very good guitars compared to even more expensive guitars. They're fantastic values. And, uh, and these are really cool. The fact that you can get all Koa uh, from Yamaha manufactured like this at this price point. It's very, very cool. So check it out.
So speaking of Koa, I have a pair of guitars from Taylor that feature Koa wood. Um, that is the 214 CEK Deluxe and the 224 CEK Deluxe. Um, the 214 and 224 come in pretty close in price uh, to each other, uh, about $1,500, a little bit more uh, for the Alcoa version, uh, but they are fantastic values. You get a quality Taylor construction and the playability that they are known for. You get the same ES2 pickup and electronics that are in the more expensive uh, options in the US made line. You get a hard shell case, again, the same case that comes with a 300 series and up guitar. Um, the Top of this one is a solid Sitka spruce with scalloped bracing, and it features laminate Koa construction on the back and sides. Uh, you can get the same guitar also with rosewood and a sunburst finish as an option. Um, and they have a all satin uh, version with a uh, gig bag uh, that'll save you a bit of money as well if you don't want the case. Personally, I think the gloss body and the case is well worth the upcharge. Taylor's cases are fantastic, probably some of the best in the industry, bar none. So it's definitely worth it. This definitely checks a lot of boxes because it comes with a solid Koa top and it gives you that nice uh, mid-range rich uh, Koa sound with some bite on the treble side. Um, and it just looks fantastic with the edge burst finish that Taylor's using with these. And like the 214 version, the 224 comes in all gloss with the same electronics and that beautiful hard shell case for under two grand. It's actually right around 1500 bucks. So definitely compelling guitars and stuff that we have a hard time keeping in stock. So not only would I own either of these, but a lot of people already have chosen to own these. These are great, great guitars. You should try them out. We're gonna compare them so that you can hear the difference in these between the Spruce Top and the Koa Top. Take a listen. All right, so now we have something from Martin. Now, if you're not familiar with the 15 series from Martin, it is a great series of all solid wood, US built mahogany guitars. I like all of them, um, and there are less expensive options than this, but this happens to be my favorite in the entire lineup. Uh, this is the 15 SM. It's right at 1599. It is built here in the US in their Nazareth, Pennsylvania factory, and it features all solid mahogany construction top, back, and sides. Um, the reason I love this particular guitar out of the whole series, all of them have this nice, warm, rich, thick mid-range that an all mahogany guitar will give you. All of them feature this satin finish um, with this stain and ba basically very simplistic looks that harken back to the depression era instruments that these are. Um, but this particular one with the 12 fret neck has even more warmth um, combined with the slotted headstock, I just, I think it's a sweetheart of a guitar. I love the way it sounds, I love the way it fits my body, the way it plays. Uh, it's incredibly light, uh, which is one of the first things that you notice, and it's very, very resonant. So for the playability, the sound, the looks, and the price, it's really, really hard to beat. It is um, a compelling option in the entry level to the US made Martin guitars, but something that I know lots of professional cats play. Um, it, you know, it, it may not be in the standard 28 series, but it's a fantastic guitar. It shouldn't be overlooked and you should definitely try one and see if it, uh, if it uh, you know, flicks your pick, peels your banana, uh, floats your boat, does your thing for you. So it certainly does it for me. I'd love to have one of these. I don't currently own one of them, um, but I will, it will be mine. 
Oh yes, it will be mine. Take a listen. Okay, so we have another Cordoba. We actually have three, spoiler alert, total on this video. This is the C12 CD. So like the C10 before, it's available either with a cedar top, which is the CD designation on this one, or with a spruce top. Now the C12 is in the upper end uh, of the Luthier series. They've used it for uh, limited editions in the past, but the standard edition that's available, which features the spruce or cedar along with rosewood back and sides, is a fantastic guitar. It looks incredible uh, with the maple binding, this beautiful flame maple wedge on the back of it, um, and the construction. It has some unique uh, aspects to its build that the C10 and most classical guitars out there, particularly in this price range, do not. One of them is very uh, readily apparent if you look at it, particularly from a side view, and that is that it has an elevated fingerboard. What that means is that the neck is actually continuing under the fingerboard all the way up to the sound hole. Now that does a few things. One, it ensures that the fretboard is straight all the way uh, so it doesn't have that hump at the 14th fret like many guitars get because the neck, a uh, substantial piece of it, is actually running under the fingerboard for that length. The other thing that it does is by elevating it up off of the fingerboard, it helps you to hit some of these notes without a cutaway that are above the 12th fret. So above the point where the body and the neck meet, you can reach over there and because of that elevation, it helps you to hit those notes a little bit better. It's a design that a lot of uh, luthiers have incorporated over the years as kind of a, a deluxe uh, option, if you will. Um, it also gives the neck this kind of negative angle down to the bridge um, and changes the tonality and the the entire setup of the guitar. Um, so it's pretty fantastic. Spanish heel construction on that as well ensures that it's gonna be rock solid, not move, and transfers the vibrations through the body very well. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's unique about this that's not readily available just by looking at it is the lattice bracing. So instead of fan bracing that runs this way, which most classical guitars have, this features lattice bracing, which has, uh, braces that run vertically and horizontally across the top. And what this does is it focuses the tone quite a bit. Um, the notes tend to pop and have a particular roundness to them uh, when playing this guitar. Um, so it looks beautiful, it's got a unique sound all of its own, and it plays very, very well, all for about $16.99. Uh, so, yeah, $16.99, great, great guitar, uh, whether the cedar or the spruce, I prefer the cedar. I like the warmth of it, um, and it's pretty traditional for a classical guitar. So take a listen, see what you can hear. Also from Cordoba is the 55 FCE. Now this is actually a guitar that the Gypsy Kings play live. Um, it is a Spanish built, so it's made in Spain. Um, flamenco inspired, very thin classical guitar. It does have uh, acoustic tone to it, but it is really made to thrive and, and excel on stage. So if you are someone who plays 
nylon uh, flamenco classical style guitar, maybe bossa nova, plugged in with the jazz group, by yourself, with a flamenco group, what have you. If you play on stage with a guitar at all, this is a fantastic option. The Fishman uh, prefix blend system that's in here is fantastic. Um, it's very, very comfortable, um, and it's a great platform for limited models. So this one is Rosewood. Um, there are Cypress models, Maple models, but there's also Zitacote models and Macassar Ebony models, all these limited models that come off of this. But whether it's a limited edition or the standard edition, these are really great guitars. They come in a beautiful Huma case, which is an arch top case with a built-in humidifier. Um, and like I said, great electronics, great acoustic tone, fantastic playability. Really just a beautiful, well-playing uh, flamenco nylon string guitar. So check out the heel. That's just, that's really comfortable. It's really, really comfortable. Anyways, take a listen, see for yourself. Okay, I haven't forgotten what video we're doing. I get to include this because I have the microphone and you don't, so, no, I'm just kidding. So this is a hybrid guitar from Taylor. If you're not familiar, this is a Taylor T5Z. This is the classic version. It also has a bigger brother, the T5. It comes in a range of options, but this is the entry level at $18.99. Uh, it comes with a gig bag and it features a solid mahogany top with a sapele body. It's fully hollow, okay? fully suspended top, but when most people talk about acoustic electric, I don't think this is what they mean. But that's basically what this is. It's an acoustic, but not slash electric. It's an acoustic and electric guitar. Um, and since it is an acoustic guitar, we can include it in this list because it does do both jobs very, very well. The idea behind the T5Z is that through a five-way switch, and smartly placed pickups, no modeling or anything like that, you can have both acoustic and electric sounds. Now the acoustic sound on this is what we're going to demonstrate and the way that it works is that there is a neck pickup here like a stack humbucker that you can't see, it's under the fingerboard. There's this one which gives you uh, great electric sounds, it's also a stacked humbucker. And then there is a body sensor right about here and what that is picking up is the actual vibration of the top in much of the same way that a microphone picks up the vibrations from our voice when we speak into it. Through the five-way selector switch on the side, you're able to choose which combination of pickups. And in the first position, that is your acoustic tone. It's going to blend this warm neck pickup with this body sensor uh, through this active preamp in order to give you a fantastic acoustic sound. And then when you're ready to rock, you just turn it to whatever setting works best. You can plug it right into your electric guitar amp, and you can go for broke with all of the overdriven distorted sounds that you want. The other nice thing about the T5Z or T5 that a lot of people fail to mention is that it is a fantastic couch guitar. So if you are married or you have a significant other and you want to practice at home and it's too loud sometimes, you can sit on the couch with this thing, you can play it, and it's probably not going to interrupt her Hallmark movies. Okay, so it's a great guitar for that, and it's a great guitar plugged in for the stage or for recording. If you don't believe me, take a listen to this acoustic sound. This is plugged in direct.
So the last one on our list is a workhorse in the Taylor line and is an incredibly compelling and improved guitar. That is the Taylor 314 CE model. Uh, it goes for basically right at $1,800 currently. And uh, it is one of the US made Taylors that now features V-Class bracing. It is a compelling option because it has the new bracing. It's made in Taylor's factory. It has the exact uh, same attention to detail, quality, fit, finish, um, playability that much more expensive guitars have for less than $2,000. You get the ES2 pickup system and preamp. Uh, you get that wonderful V bracing that includes the increased sustain, improved intonation, and uh, increased volume at the same time. Um, and it looks great. So um, this particular model, uh, the 314, has a Sitka spruce top. It's Sapele back and sides, one and three quarter inch nut, 25 and a half inch uh, scale length. Um, and it's got you know improved uh, inlay here, along with uh, the inlay echoed here on the headstock, which is typical of all of the V-Class guitars uh, that Taylor's updated for 2018. Uh, it's plug-in, ready to go. The pickup system is fantastic. It gives you very natural sound to it. Um, and it's just a really great value in an American-made, all-solid wood guitar that Taylor has just continued to refine and, and improve over the years. Um, if you are looking for a great playing acoustic guitar that is plug-in ready to go, uh, that has an outstanding stage presence as well, uh, this would be top on my list. Um, I own several Taylors, I own more expensive ones, but I would buy one of these in a heartbeat um, if I was shopping for one and this was kind of what my budget was going to be. You know, here's the thing too, as we, as we talk about guitars in budgets, I should say this here at the end of the video. If you're shopping for a guitar, you probably shouldn't start with a budget. What you should probably do is start with some idea of what you want um, and kind of work backward from there and you'll probably find that what you desire to have will probably fall within a certain price point. So as an example, if you want an American made all solid wood guitar with a pickup system um, that has a certain amount of aesthetics and, and features all gloss construction or or all gloss finish or, or satin finish or you know lots of inlays or no inlays, what have you, um, you're going to pretty quickly find uh, guitars that play well, sound great, have those features, um, are going to cost a certain amount of money. Um, and you know, for 1800 bucks, it's not that much more than what you probably spent on your last phone. And it's something you can have for the rest of your life. So really great guitar. Let's put it through its paces so you can hear what it sounds like. So there you have it. These are 10 very compelling guitars uh, in the price range of $1,000 to $2,000. Now, if you disagree with our options or you feel that we've left something off, uh, please comment below and tell us what you think for the rest of the audience is another great guitar that they should look at. If you'd like more information on the specs of any of the guitars that we have featured here, follow the links below and take a look at them on our website. We have uh, photographs of the guitars that we have in stock and the specs for all of the guitars as well. Um, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks.
What's up you guys? We're here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas, and we're very excited to announce the 30th annual Guitar Wars. The theme this year is Shred the Halls, and it's taking place at Sam's Burger Joint right here in San Antonio on December 11th at 7 p.m. To enter, we want you to post a 30 second to one minute video of you playing and post it on Instagram and tag us at Alamo Music. We want you to use the hashtags Shred the Halls, Alamo Music, Play a Note, and Guitar Wars 30. There are three categories. We got electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and bass. Three winners from each category will receive an awesome prize, and the top player from each one has a chance to be featured on our YouTube channel. We want everybody to enter. There are no limitations on genres, but your submissions are due by December 1st. There are always some great players there, but we're looking forward to seeing some new faces. Show us what you got. Is that okay? Is that good? <laughs> hey everyone, I want to thank you for watching the videos that we produce. We put these out to help you choose the right guitar, um, understand some of the options that are out there, and to showcase some of the latest models that you may not get the opportunity to play in your local music store. If you have benefited or enjoyed watching any of our videos, then I want to tell you how you can help us to make more. We have created a new t-shirt just for guitar nuts like you and me. It's this. It says, I'm a guitar nut. So if you're like me, you are a guitar nut. And if you're also like me, walking around naked is probably an offense. So we want you to have this shirt. Follow the link, go to our website. These are going to be limited time and uh, you can put in a pre-order for it now. They will be shipping soon. Once they're gone, they're gone. So follow the link below and get your guitar nut shirt that only you and other guitar players will understand with a knowing week. Thanks again for watching.